Hello. Um, this is a little bit update from yesterday's um, video, actually the day before video. Um, I had a pretty rough day yesterday, so I thought I'd just share that with you. Um, but today I'm feeling much, much better. So I'm going to go straight into some stretching. So we're going to come into a posture called Dandasana, which is nice long-legged posture. Toes are up, shoulders back and down, and bring your hands behind you. I'm just going to lift up the hearts and just hold on tiny back bend. And then come back to neutral. And then lift up the hearts, have a little tiny back bend. And then come back to neutral. And one more, lifting up the heart, little tiny back bend. And come back to neutral. So yes, as I was saying, yesterday was a pretty bad day. It was more difficult to just lift up my legs and arms. So I decided to just go with it, have a nice chill out day, which served me well. So I just lay down watch some box sets, and just generally chilled out for the whole of the day. But today, I'm feeling much, much better. And um, so today, I'm going to do some stretching. And these particular stretches are quite beneficial for anybody who is um, undergoing anything to do with breast cancer, because it's generally working with the shoulders a lot and um, improving that lymphatic system to in, um, avoid any lymphedemia. So the first one will be just nice little shoulder rugs. So just Shoulders back and down, shoulders back and down, shoulders back and down, and shoulders back and down. And then we just reverse it, shoulders forward and down, shoulders forward and down, shoulders forward and down, and shoulders forward and down. And and then we're going to do some nice little big circles, so arms are all the way up. Now, if you have recently had surgery, then take it as far as you want to, just nice and slowly, just working with the body, just really seeing what's happening. You don't have to take it the full measure, and if you're feeling tired, you don't have to take it to the full measure. Just we'll do two more, and then this will be the last one. We're just working with our own bodies, enjoying our own movement. And then we're going to interlock the fingers and turn the palms away from you. And again, we'll lift up. And again, if you have had surgery, you're maybe not going as far up as this. Please do avoid any pain. Pain is not the area we want to go to. We just want to stretch out the body, rising all the way up and exhaling down, rising up. And exhaling down. And one more. Inhale up. And exhale down. And then we're going to take our arms into angel arms. So take an inhale here and exhale, draw the elbows together. Inhale, open and expand the chest. Exhale, close. When we actually have had some shocks, we tend to fold everything in, so we want to open everything out. So anything that's shocked to the system is we tend to come into this shape. So we want to open up into this shape, really expanding, opening up the heart. Come back to the center. And think about opening and lightening the load. Exhale, close. And one more inhale, open. And exhale, close. So if you're getting fed up with your legs being crossed, you can always stretch them out and have straight legs. Oh, we're going to have cross legs. Going to do some nice twists, so lengthen up through the spine. Take a long, deep inhale as we lengthen. Left hand to right knee, take an inhale. And on the exhale, twist. Coming back to the center, lengthen up. Change sides. Take an exhale. Inhale is the lengthening. And exhale is the twisting. And do that once more each side. So take an inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, we'll take a twist. Really tall spines. Back to the center, take an inhale. And exhale, take another nice twist. And then we're going to simply come back to the center. Coming on to all fours. We're just going to take a little movement in the spine and we'll come back to some more twists. So inhale, gaze up and buttocks up. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, lifting up. 
exhale rounding and then we'll avoid her lifting up and exhale rounding and then we'll come back into that cross-legged seated posture we we'll take the right arm all the way up stretch it out and exhale have a nice stretch over there. All the way back to the center, changing sides, stretching up, all the way over. And again, changing sides, all the way over. Really stretching and coming back. We stretch over all the way over. And then one more, stretching over, all the way over. And then come back to neutral. The phone always goes when I'm, on, when I'm on the camera. It's just weird how the phone always goes when I'm on camera. Okay, we're going to come back into that all fours. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And inhale, gaze up and buttocks up. Exhale, rounding and engaging. One more inhale, lifting. And exhale, rounding and engaging. And then we're going to come back onto our backs. I'm going to give you a little practice because a lot of you may be suffering from um, wind in the tummy. I get a lot of wind in the tummy now uh, and constipation, which I've never suffered with. But now, yeah, constipation is part of the process as well. So we're going to lay on our backs and it's called Apanasana. So we're going to draw the knees into the chest. And then we're going to stretch the knees away and... When we have the arms stretched, the knees, we're going to take a long, deep inhale through the nostrils and open the mouth, hard breath exhale as we draw the knees in. <sighs> inhale, stretch those arms away, take a long, deep inhale, open the mouth, hard breath, draw those knees in. <sighs> Two more, inhale, open the mouth, hard breath. We'll get into the rhythm. Inhale. Open the mouth, hard breath. And then release the feet to the mat. We're going to finish with a nice back bend. So hands down by the side of the body. Feet are separated. Knees are separated. Just lift up the buttocks slightly. Little tiny back bend going on here. And exhale, release down. Inhale is the lift. And exhale, releasing down. One more inhale is the lift. And exhale, releasing down. And then we're going to take those legs nice and long. Turn the palms up to the ceiling. Open the legs wide, open the arms wide. I'm just going to soften into what we call Shavasana. So just being aware of resting on the mat now. And bring your attention to your breath, your inhales and your exhales. Next time you take an inhale, I want you to inhale white light. So inhale white and take an exhale. So inhale the white light into the head and exhale. Inhale the white light into the neck. And exhale. Inhale it into the shoulders, filling and swirling around the shoulders with the white light. And exhale. Take the white light down through the arms into the fingertips. And exhale. Filling the body with white healing light. Inhale into the upper back. And exhale. Inhale, white light into the lower back. And exhale. Inhale, the white light into the chest, into the abdomen. And exhale. Now take it into the hips, the groin. And exhale. Down through the legs, into the feet and the toes. Inhale, white light. And exhale, filling the whole body now, each and every part of the body filling with white light, healing the body with white light, and exhale.
Feel it swirling around you, covering you. Being encompassed in the white light. And stay here for at least five minutes. Breathing in white. And if you wish, breathe out grey. Breathing in white, healing light. And breathing out grey, anything you no longer require in your body. Breathing in white. And exhale grey. Namaste.